Folks, it's Fernando doing another video for more survivalists. I have a great, actually great tip for you guys. And it's about washing clothes in a matter of seconds very easily. Uh, this can be extremely helpful, even if you're maybe traveling, if there is no uh, washing machine nearby. If you just have to improvise, very important aspect of modern survivalism, learning how to get by when things are just not working with scarce resources. Yesterday was a great day. I went uh, to the beach, I was I played uh, football with a soccer ball for about an hour with my son. Then we picked up uh, an American football ball, started throwing around the ball, and we went uh, into the the ocean a little bit. And all the time I was wearing my Under Armour T-shirt. Right, this is polyester basically. Uh, sweating, getting wet in the ocean, drying up very quickly. Then I came back home. I started a little fire for a barbecue using charcoal and wood, half and half, give or take. A very small uh, barbecue just so as to flip a couple of burgers. I cooked those burgers. The smoke of all that was just, you know, right there. I just used this technique and in a matter of seconds I was already wearing this same t-shirt yet again. So let's get started. You'll see how it works. It's very easy and it actually works wonderfully well. You'll see just that in a minute. So the first thing we do is with our t-shirt we place it in water, make sure it's soaking wet. One of the things you could you could do, and this I actually did it last night, is fill the sink with water. Let it sit while you take a bath even. That's actually what I did. I let it sink, let it sit there while I took a bath. So that it absorbs. You could maybe use a little bit of soap. Honestly, I didn't use soap yesterday. Still, in spite of the uh, everything it had been through, it worked out quite well. Let it sit for, yeah, take a shower, 10 minutes or so. Then change water a couple times and basically squeeze the water out of it. Don't twist it, just squeeze it out of it so that it just pushes through the fibers, cleaning it as much as possible. Squeezing it like that a few times. If it's maybe a little bit dirtier, try this a couple more times. Maybe even use a little bit of soap. Again, I don't think it's always necessary, especially not with the, these kind of materials. Now, what you do is using a, a cotton towel, you stretch it as evenly as possible. Make sure you have as, as little, as few wrinkles as you can. You want maximum contact between the t-shirt or whatever other clothing items you're using and a cotton towel. And what you do is this, you start rolling it up as tightly as you can, right? You roll it like that, very, very tightly or as tightly as possible. You're, you're looking to maximize the contact between the clothing and the cotton towel. All right. So far, you've probably seen something similar done in our videos or such, if you look it up online and such. And here is where uh, some folks have different takes. Some people I've seen start twisting it and such. My uh, method of doing it, which I think is far better than this, is doing the following. You do this and you start doing like this. You slam it against the floor as hard as you can, so as to take advantage of several physics <laughs> advantages. You have uh, a material such as the t-shirt the that is not, uh, it is not cotton, which does not absorb or retain water nearly as much as, as, as the cotton towel. So the cotton towel absorbs it, the polyester, the, the polyester fabric is a weakening material, loses it very fast. So about 10 wax on either side, on each side, 10 wax on this side, and works on the other one and that should be it <laughs> surprisingly enough it works very very well even with a towel that you just took a bath with which is the, the thing that I did yesterday it already looks you know just a tad moist but it's already practically there okay now that is it I'm actually wearing it again just a, a tad bit of moist. It actually feels quite fresh, which is nice in warmer weathers. Uh, I've done the same thing with merino wool with my icebreaker t-shirt. Uh, given that it's wool, even if it's, if it's uh, just a little bit damp, you still, you still feel much uh, warmer. So even in, in colder climates, if you have merino, this same technique will just work beautifully well for you. 
I couldn't believe it last night when I did it, especially after all this smelly stuff, you know, physical activity, sea water, and uh, a freaking barbecue on top of that still, without even using soap, just worked that well. Make sure you press it very tight, make sure you slam it against the, the floor like I did, or uh, as hard as you can. Uh, I think this works much, much better than just twisting, which is what, what I've seen other people do. Twisting and such, uh, you're not using, you're not taking advantage of, of the, the physics of using the momentum, so as to move water from the wickening fabric to the one that is absorbing, like like the uh, like cotton uh, and you're not a uh, twisting which causes a little bit more wear and tear especially on more fragile fabrics uh, such as a merino which you want to be a little bit careful with that so instead of twisting it like that ripping a little bit just using the inertia just the water goes from one to the other it's a, a great little tip that um, works beautifully well try it out uh, and guys it's gonna be all for now share it with other people if you think it's useful subscribe to the channel take care have a great 4th of July see you on our next video